Do your best, you know? Maybe you'll sin. Maybe you'll do good. I don't know. But the best you can do is to try. Cheers. Oh my god, look at him! In 30 minutes, this guy's got some grass. And it's gonna be some uh, fan brush. We're gonna clean it off. Mm. Okay. Oh, he's already back to the palette knife. You know what? I don't care about the palette knife. I care about this. It's yellow here. There's a little bit of yellow ochre. And um, I care about a little bit of um, Indian yellow. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna mix them together just for fun. I don't even know what that's right. Oh, he's building a cabin! Ugh! I'm so far behind the times. But the point is, I, I just want a little bit of uh, this color of this grass here. How is it easier to block in a happy little house? Mm -mm -mm. Let me tell you something, it's hard to do the jewelry journey. It's hard to paint and follow along and comment and usher in the new year with none other than Bob Ross and me, Michael Walker, the joy of drinking. He's got a whole cabin. You see, like, I'm, I'm trying to just, just to follow along with what he's been done already. And, um, I've got a whole cabin that I have yet to make. But guess what? I know how to make a cabin. I'm going to make a cabin. But, but as I make that cabin, I need to remember to atone for my sins. Because toning for one's sins is what Rosh Hashanah is all about. Mm, old wood, yes. So what is Rosh Hashanah all about? Well, one thing I've got to atone for is I put this mountain uh, mountain cabin on a hill. Oh man. Oh man. Whatever. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. It's going to go right here. Yeah, maybe there's a couple of windows. I don't know, Bob. But, uh, you know, what can I atone for? What can I possibly... Well, I can atone for the fact that I've been drinking a little too much. I mean, it's sort of like, you know, it's like, let me put it this way. I want to make a joke. At the beginning of this episode, we, we did some shofar blowing by Ronald by Mel. But part of me was like, hey, we say in Hebrew, we say, tequila. But it's like, I don't know what tequila means, but I was like, maybe I should say, Tequila. I mean, it's, it seems like an easy joke, is my point. Tequila. Tequila. But I, but, but I don't know. Man, I'm so lost. I don't, I don't even know what the hell I was talking about. I don't even know what I was talking about. But I do know that I haven't drank in a while. And it's not the joy of drinking, unless it's a joy to drink. Unless it's a joy for the new year. Some mead. A little white. And some apple. Apples and honey and Rosh Hashanah. But the point is that I atone for my excessive drinking. It's a sin. And I don't for it. I mean, that's all we can do, right? All we can do is try and live the best lives we can. Oh. Fan brush. And we're going to go the way we want. Mm. 
And then we do our best to correct it. Ooh, okay, sure. Um, here we are, from here, from down to here. Man, how does he keep that darkness so consistent? I mean, as soon as I pick up this Van Dyke Brown, it gets absorbed by all these other oil paints that I'm doing. Or that I've already, uh, that I've already had. I don't even know. You know, hubris is one of those things. Hubris is one of those sins. I remember learning about that in middle school, hubris. But it was like more in the, the, the sort of uh, Odysseus context, the like Greek mythology context. Boom! Away. And out of the two-inch brush and some, 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 some yellow. Some uh, cadmium yellow. But, you know, hubris. Why not uh, hubris in the... Um, in the Jewish sense, in the Hebrew sense, in the Ivrit sense. I don't know. Hubris is pretty universal, right? Now you may be asking yourself, like, what is with this Michael guy? What is this Michael guy and why isn't he eating any of that Hala? Hala? Red that he's got right there. Well, the fact is for Rosh Hashanah. For Rosh Hashanah, uh, the uh, bread that one eats is supposed to be round, and it's a little early because I'm pre-filming this, and I don't, I'm not afraid to say that. But uh, so here's some, uh, some, you know, it's like a dinner roll. It's a dinner roll, but it's round and it's a challah. It's made with the same ingredients as the big challah, which I don't have right here. So. Uh, we do, we do eat this bread, so Baruch HaTan HaLehem HaFalam HaMotzi Lechem Min HaRetz Ha, Amen Boom! I haven't eaten bread, or challah, or, or, or mostly or anything in like months or a year Um, because I found out that I'm, like, gluten-sensitive. But, I mean, Jews, like, they're notorious. Watch on Stuart. They're notorious for having, like, bad, uh, um, uh, like, uh, guts, like intestinal what have you. And, um, but here I am to tell you that I got it, too. So I just ate a little bit of gluten. And I'm going to continue eating gluten for the purposes of this episode. Continue a la right now. But how let's go. How let's go gluten in. How that's your boy. Mm. I'm refocusing. I'm refocusing on Bob Ross. Mm. Look at his beauty. Oh man, I'm so enamored of my own painting right now. So anyway, I mean, my, yeah, granted, my cabin is a fuck of bullshit. I mean, look at it. My cabin is nothing. It's an abstraction at best. But whatever. It is what it is. Oh, what, what, what tool is he using? Can you tell me, please, what tool is he using to put in the thing? Whatever. It looks like, a, it looks like the less than one inch. And I'm putting it right here. Because Bob Ross teaches you that anyone can make a painting. And Bob Ross teaches you that you can make a painting too. And if you make a painting like you do. And if you make a painting through and through. And if you make a painting with a brush. And if you make a painting, that's enough. And if you make a painting, I can tell you. And if you make a painting... Um, I can't think of a rhyme that doesn't, that doesn't smell yet because my is dumb. But my point is this. I'm going to make my painting as wild and wacky as I care to. Boom. Bam. I'm like avoiding the sun because I don't want to get in the way of it. Oh man, look at him. Oh, he's like making a wicked forest. Look how wicked this thing is. 
It's beautiful. You have no idea how much Judaism stuff that is like locked in memory. Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kavod Shem Ruv Alchut Ovalchut. I mean, someone knows what that means. Oh, some stumps. What? 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 What is he using? Okay, I'm gonna make those first. I'm gonna make those lines through the fence first. There's a line through a fence, and there's a line through a fence. Oh, he's already signing his name. His nombre. His nomaye. Oh, that's too bad. It's too bad. Why is it too bad? Because the New Year is sweet. New Year is sweet and it's already over. Ooh, there's that beautiful music. And you know what? I don't even see where the red is. Do you see where the red is on, on, the, on, the, on my palette? I don't see the red. So, I'm going to have to go with some other color. And uh, that color is going to be the brightest color I can find. It's going to be this yellow here, which happens to be cadmium yellow. And it's going to be M. Or like Moshe. That's like Moses. I don't know. Michael. Michael. My name is Michael. Michael. That's your Hebrew name. It's my Hebrew name. What is it? It's Michael. I'm like an angel or something. I heard I was an angel once. I hope it's still true. Anyway, there's a Michael Walksher, the same Hebrew name that Hebrewed generations ago. I don't feel I've drank enough for the story drinking. So I'll pour myself another. Apple schnapps. Honey mead. I'll tell you what, though, I'm tipsy enough from the, from my previous episode where I talked like a pirate the whole time and drank rum. Please go watch it right now. And here's, like, the annotation or whatever I'm going to put on there. The point is this. This is the only Rosh Hashanah-themed anything you'll ever get in pop culture outside of Israel. So you better take it. I mean, take it or leave it. I mean, this is all you got. Leave your heinous comments in the section down below. Watch me again with Bob Ross side by side by clicking the link in the description down below. Or just watch it again and share it. I don't know. But, my name is Michael Walker, and this is the joy of drinking. Cheers, shalom, and have a great new year whenever it may start. L'chaim! This is my joy of painting, and I hope you have a joyous new year with me, whether it's a painting or not. L'chaim. Oh my god. That's the last one. <laughs>